and only on Fox. You're about to see some video we need to tell you up front that's extremely tough to watch, certainly not suitable for kids. It's uh, the battle over your health and animal testing. A company wants to build a lab in the valley to help develop future drugs. Critics are mailing undercover video to people hoping that you'll be disgusted and fight back. Here's Keith Yaskin. Images of animal testing. Part of the struggle deciding if this undercover video shows animal abuse or the path to a cure. I have become only more and more convinced over the years that this is not the way to go. Dr. John J. Pippen calls animal testing a failed science. He's with a group called Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine. I thought animal testing helped us come up with cures. Well, that's what people who do that would like you to think. This is where Covance, a billion dollar company conducting animal testing for drug research, wants to build a new lab in the area, carrying with it a controversial world. So is this the site for future animal abuse? Or is this where they're going to find a cure for a horrible disease? Animal rights groups sneak someone with a camera into other Covance labs, showing a maze of cages. Dr. Pippin says you're seeing monkeys who are scared, being injected with substances, and eventually dying. Monkeys falling over. Why would he do that? She's an evil son of a bitch. U.S. Department of Agriculture documents show Covance agreed this year to pay $8,700 after facing 16 violations, which include abuse. Other routine inspection reports show the Agriculture Department last year found Covance not complying with rules at several labs at certain times. To them, animals are a laboratory tool, just like a, a bench or a probe or a surgical instrument. Covance argues the video is a series of misleading shots. With violent treatment like that on a busy production line of animal dosing, it is little wonder that the monkeys were injured. This one's arm was broken. The company also questions if video editing takes certain images out of context and has never seen an unedited version. Is this company uh, hurting defenseless animals? Absolutely not. Spokeswoman Camilla Strongin says what matters most is Covance's testing for the greater good. You're making uh, an assumption that is completely incorrect. You're making an assumption that the animals that you see are in pain. That is not accurate. The government has fined Covance, but Camilla says the fine was a first. Problems were small, not serious, and a different agency, the Food and Drug Administration, found no wrongdoing. They show footage in, um, from Munster, Germany, for example. Someone also shot video at a Covance lab in Germany. But documents show investigators found the company committed no crimes. I think it'd be difficult for anybody to watch uh, any type of medical procedure that you're not familiar with. Images of animal testing and the struggle over how to research our future health. Keith Yaskin. Fox 10 News. Covance says the new lab would create about 2,000 jobs. The next step is getting building permits from the city of Chandler.